morning. Welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, May the 17th. We're going to talk baseball today and then summer theater. Let's start first of all with Jeannie Martin Dudenhofer. Good to have you Good here. Good to have you here, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're with the Mink League Jefferson City Renegades. Yes, right? we're very excited. So tell me about this is a brand new baseball team in Jefferson City. Semi-pro in the Mink League. Um, we'll be playing teams like Chillicothe, St. Louis, St. Joseph, um, Sedalia, a couple of teams in Southwest Missouri, mm -hmm. and Clarenda, Iowa. So how did the Mink League come about and how did you become associated with the Mink League? Well, there are other leagues operating in the Midwest, but this was the best fit for Jefferson City, City and a brand new opportunity. Mm -hmm. So the Jefferson City Renegades, you were organizing them last year. Yes. Because I remember we did a segment on the Renegades last year, but this is the first year that the team is actually playing? Our home opener is on June 2nd, and we'll be raffling off a Jeep Renegade. So raffle get, tickets are, are still available. Where are you getting that Jeep Renegade? Well, we're buying it from Beck Motors, uh -huh. and then we're raffling it off. So we're going to fund our team this summer with the proceeds. So are any of these baseball players paid, or are they doing it for the excitement of playing baseball. No, they are college students and they're getting extra playing time, mostly with their coach's advice. And we draft and play teams around the state. Yeah. How many games will you be playing this summer? It's a two month schedule, somewhere around 55 games. So counting why, playoffs. Okay, I, I know you're excited about it, but why should the community be so excited about having this baseball team? Well, first of all, like George Carlin said, it, baseball is a spiritual experience, Paul. But second of all, it's just plain good for our city. It's going to bring in revenues when pe parents come and stay in hotels and take their sons out to eat. And it's also good for families. The tickets will be relatively inexpensive, six or seven dollars for your average game. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity for family fun. And where, where are the games played in Jefferson City? We'll be playing at Vivian Field there on Missouri Boulevard. Okay, so your first game is? June 2nd. And how can they get tickets? Um, they can go to www.jeffcityrenegades.com mm -hmm. and they can also find us on Facebook, Jeff City Renegades. Okay, oh, I see I see your logo there. There's a, the web page that we have up and there's your logo. They look like some pretty tough guys. Uh, we're, we're tough. <laughs> no question about it. All right, Jeannie. Jeannie Martin Dudenhofer, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, Paul. And uh, best of luck with the Renegades this summer. Play ball. Two, two, two months play schedule, right? Okay. Now we go from baseball to summer theater. That's and we have uh, two delightful, lovely ladies with us from Stevens College Summer <laughs> Theater Institute. I got uh, Lindsay King and Lambie Hedge. Good Hi, to have Paul. both of you here. Good to be here. Thank, now, thank you. Tell me about the Summer Theater Institute with Stevens College. Um, Stevens College offers a three-year two-summer BFA in theater. That means students um, accelerate their undergraduate training into, mm -hmm. a, into a very intensive three years rather than four years. So uh, in order to be able to get that college degree in three years, they participate in two very intensive uh, summer programs. You keep emphasizing very intense. It is. It's <laughs> it is. A, How intense is it? Well, let me explain. The students come to class at 8.30 in the morning. They're in class all morning, take a quick lunch break, back at it f until 5 o'clock grab a quick dinner break, back at it until 10.30 at night. You're kidding. Yep. You've got him in there from 8 <laughs> o'clock in the morning? Absolutely. Till 10.30 at night? Yes, yep. and they're taking classes, but they're also participating in a five-show season that's produced in a six-show summer session. But they're going from 8 o'clock in the morning till 10.30 at night. When do these poor kids get to rest? Well, they have an hour at lunch and two hours at dinner, and okay. they're back at it. And listen, they know by the end of Summer Theater mm -hmm. Institute whether or not theater is for them. Yeah, Because yeah. We, we try to impress upon them that it is an extremely rigorous 
uh, career path. Right. And and if this is something that you want to do, it's in your heart. It's not work. It's fun. That's right. Is that right? Yes. What do you well, want to add? Just what do you keep want to saying this, that. <laughs> what do you want to add, Lindsay? Uh, I was actually, I'm a graduate of the program, so I went through this whole... And they drove you like that from 8 oh, o'clock yes. in the morning yeah. till 1030 at night? And it was an invaluable experience. I learned more than I could ever begin to tell you from doing it. It's was a, there ever a point in that uh, that you said, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> well, there's a lot of soul searching from time to time, but I think you have to because you're choosing a career path that's not just... It's fun and it's rewarding, but you have to work. And in order to get those rewards, you have to put in the work. So going through the program was, I wouldn't trade it for anything. So. What about the productions that you do? Are, are there productions that then are open to the public? Yes, they are. And they're free. Yep. Oh, do, they're free. We yep. do five mm -hmm. shows. They, um, they happen every Friday night starting, help me out, Liz. On May 19th. Which is day after tomorrow. Okay, so May the 19th will be your first one. Yes. Right. And, and what's this one? That'll be a Commedia dell'arte show. Uh -huh. So the students, the students grab all kinds of really important fundamental theater skills, and we focus on a different theater skill for each show. First show up is the Commedia dell'arte show. It's classic clowning. Mm -hmm. And the entire and this company is, so, will be so involved. This, this, this week then... This is what you're dealing with. You're working just on producing that show. That show, mm -hmm. taking intenses, but we're also priming the pump for the show that will follow. We always have two shows in the hopper simultaneously that we're in preparations for. Right, but the one that you're working on right now predominantly mm -hmm. is the one for this, That's this week. And we have a remarkable guest artist that we're flying in from Portland, Oregon to head this uh, uh, particular show. Are all the same students in each production every week? Yes. Oh, by the end of the, the so they've got to be exhausted. They're ready for a break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. <laughs> Maybe they'll sleep a little bit later in the morning they and go do. to bed earlier for at night. about seven weeks yeah. after they're done. So if people want tickets or more information, well, the tickets are free, but how do they right. get them? You just show, uh, you just show up. <laughs> show you up just at show the theater. Up? Yeah, yes. show up at the theater. First come, first serve so, on so, seating. So you don't you don't do this ahead of time getting tickets. Nope. Nope. No, it's an open door policy. It's at, uh, at the Stevens College Warehouse Theater. The first uh -huh. four shows that is, yeah. and then we end with a big musical theater review at the end of the season, and that'll be on the Macklinburg stage. So what the do you big do if you stage. have a lot more people come than can get in? It always manages to work itself out. Work its way out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much for coming Appreciate by. Appreciate it it's so, so much. It's so interesting. And, and go easy on them. <laughs> Maybe give them an extra 10 minutes for lunch, okay? <laughs> Sometimes. Do they get a potty break in there anywhere? Yes, <laughs> <Okay>. of course. <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure having you here. Uh, tomorrow, nutrition and diet, and we'll tell you about that special tour of the Columbia Cemetery. Have yourself a good morning and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.